Hey everyone, welcome back to Luigi's Play. If you're new here, consider subscribing for daily gaming content and emulation updates. We're all about keeping you up to date on the latest in the world of gaming. Stick around because today I'm going to teach you how to download and install Lime 3DS emulator on both Android and PC. That's right, we're covering both platforms so you can enjoy your favorite Nintendo 3DS games no matter what device you're using. So, let's dive into Lime 3DS Emulator. This emulator is a real game changer, letting you play Nintendo 3DS games on your PC or Android without needing the actual console. And the best part, it's free and open source. We've got some major updates to share. The developers have been hard at work and we can't wait to show you what's new. First up, the emulator has moved to a new user data directory. It might sound minor, but it's a big deal. Your data is now more organized and secure than ever before. Plus, you won't lose any progress or settings when you update. Next, we've fixed some bugs that will significantly improve your gaming experience. The settings menu no longer causes the secondary window to become unresponsive in the separate windows layout. This annoying bug is finally gone. And now you can full screen the secondary window without any issues. It's all about making your gaming smoother and more enjoyable. We're also excited to announce that the ARM64 Linux Flatpak version is back. This means you can play your favorite 3DS games on Linux using the Flatpak version again. We've also removed the view game on GameDB option, which was no longer available. This helps keep the emulator clean and focused on the features that matter. Now let's talk about the updates that affect all platforms. Arctic Base integration has been updated to support up to version 1.2.0 with various issue fixes. You can now use your 3DS console as a controller. This feature is off by default, but you can toggle it in the input settings. Just note, it might increase network usage and slightly impact loading times, but it's a small price to pay for the convenience. We've also fixed an issue with real-time audio not working correctly at emulation speeds above 100%. Now you can enjoy smooth audio even when playing games at high speeds. Plus, we've corrected dead links in the user interface, making navigation easier and more intuitive. Lastly, we've updated build dependencies to ensure the emulator is built on a solid foundation of up-to-date libraries and tools. This behind-the-scenes change is crucial for the overall stability and security of the emulator. Now, let's download and install the Lime3DS emulator on both Android and PC. Follow the steps carefully.
And there you have it, folks. The latest update for Lime 3DS Emulator is packed with exciting changes and improvements. From the new user data directory to the updated Arctic Base integration, these updates make the emulator more powerful, flexible, and enjoyable to use. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming content and emulation updates. See you next time.